Grand Rising, my lovies, and happy Thursday. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Time is flying. So anyway, my message today, I want to tell you a quick story I had. I was dealing with a new client, and this was with regard to wholesaling, wholesaling business. And she started the program, and two weeks into it, week one, she was cool. She was getting set up. She was getting acclimated. Week two, we had our phone call, and she was like, you know, Jennifer, you know, I was telling, you know, everyone I know about what I'm doing, and I'm starting to get leads, and, you know, I have this person already that I could go see their property, and she was so debilitated by fear that she literally stopped herself from continuing the program. Like, I unfortunately failed because I was unable to talk her off the ledge. Like she, I did on the phone, but then, hold on. So I was able to, on the phone, talk her off the ledge. And she was like, okay, yes, I'm going to follow up. I gave her all the action steps to do. However, later on in the week before our week three phone call, she sent me an email, a very long-winded email, how she was like in bed and she was debilitated. And, you know, I don't really know what her full backstory was maybe she was holding back on some information from me but I just want to share this to tell you how powerful the illusion of fear is like she was already getting leads and could have potentially gotten a, a lead that led her to her first deal and her first check and she let fear hold her back so that story stuck with me because I feel like I failed but I didn't want to push um the message today is don't let fear hold you back. It's an illusion. It's holding you back from your dreams, which are on the other side. Go for it. Love you guys. Peace out. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so this is pre plotting round table. We're in the loo right now because it's too loud, and I don't want to leave you hanging with just the fear. <clears throat> so I want to leave you with tools. The best way to deal with fear is to do the thing that you're afraid to do. Okay, I'm telling you from experience, the other bodies, do the thing you're afraid to do. And once you do it, it empowers you to do it again and again. And you're like, oh my God, it wasn't that bad. Why did I let myself, you know, hold myself back from doing something? You know, and you get like a natural high, you know? I mean, I'm speaking from experience. There were things that like stupid things that, you know, maybe, I can't even remember right now. But, you know, and then I did it, I'm like, oh, that wasn't even that bad. You know, I'm making more of it than what it is. Do not let fear hold you back. It is an illusion, and it is holding you back from your dreams, and it is making you sick and procrastinate. So if you're seeing this message, and this is you, press play. Press play, and then get excited, okay? And think of how good it could turn out. Right? Yes, things could go good, things could not work out. But at the end of the day, if it's a failure, then it's a learning situation. You know what not to do next time, but at least you push past the fear. You're not wondering, what if I did that? What if I did this? So I had to share that story because I just thought it was so sad. And there's so many, at least she, you know, she started the program. Some people never even start and they live their life with regret. Like, what if? So, anyway, that's the message. And, um, yeah. Have a beautiful day. I will talk to you guys later. Ciao.